Welcome back to the House of Style. We're here on the beautiful North Shore of Oahu. And whether you're looking for waves that are tubular or 20 feet high, we've got it all here. Many of the pro-choice marchers fear it's only a matter of time until Roe v. Wade is overturned on account of Bush's appointments to the Supreme Court. So this demonstration is also aimed at lobbying congressmen to pass the Freedom of Choice Act. At first I thought that they were going to put us in like this little box and, and it was going to be like a nightmare. This is the true story. You know what luggage this is? Seven strangers. You sell drugs. Why do you have a fever? Pick to live in a lot. And have the lodge take no, 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 no. to find out what happens <laughs> when people stop being polite. Get out of my face! I'm Why so sick of this! You start getting the real world. We're now at a beautiful waterfall at Waimea State Park. Next up, St. Bars, short for St. Bartholomew. It's the jewel of the French West Indies, colorfully combining both Caribbean and European styles. We went there in search of French island style, and this is what we found. Hi, I'm Kurt Loder, and this is Opening Act, 90 live minutes of celebrity frenzy here at the Pauley Pavilion at UCLA in Los Angeles, leading up to MTV's ninth annual Video Music Awards show. Well, with me right now is Marky Mark, who's up for four Video Music Awards, Best Choreography, Best Cinematography, Best Rap, and Best Dance Video. Which one of those do you think you'll actually be walking home with? Um, I think if I come away with any, any I'm against a lot of big people. Um, I think I got the best chance in the dance category because it's, it's really a dance song. One of the artists nominated this year for Best New Artist, as well as a few others, Tori Amos. How you doing? Hi, John. I'm really well. I saw Pearl Jam hanging out with Elton John, who then moved on to talk to Def Leppard and Axl Rose walked by. But right now I'm standing here with two members of Nirvana, Dave and Chris. How you doing, guys? I'm fine. You look great, Tabitha. I have to dip you now. Hi, I'm Tabitha Soren in Little Rock, Arkansas. Behind me, President-elect Bill Clinton has just given his acceptance speech. It was about 9.50 p.m. in Arkansas when Clinton got the 270 electoral votes he needed to push him over the edge and become the President of the United States. Now we're in Ben Around Records, and we actually have the first president who's going to bring rock and roll to the White House. A lot of musicians and celebrities jumped on the political bandwagon this year. Cher backed Ross Perot, Bruce Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger stumped for George Bush, R.E.M. and Madonna threw in with Bill Clinton, and John Bon Jovi, it turns out, was courted by both the Democrats and the Republicans. 